Hi everyone, Danny from Tradeify here. In this video, I'll show you how to set up an email address to capture inquiries in Tradeify. You'll be able to share this address directly with your customers or even set up a forwarding address, streamlining your work requests. By having one central place to capture inquiries, you'll be able to quickly respond to work requests from your Tradeify app. Start by heading to the settings page in the left-hand navigation bar. From here, you're going to go to Inquiries. Here, you're going to be presented with two options, an Inquiries email address and a web inquiry form. Both of these can be used, but for the purposes of this video, we're going to look at the Inquiries email address. To get started, switch the Sending Email Address toggle on. Here, you'll be presented with your own unique Inquiries email address. This is the address that Tradeify will use to capture inquiry details inside of Tradeify. Note, the name of this email is fixed and based off of your company name. If you'd like to change the name at the start of the email address, please get in touch with our support team through the link in the description. Let's walk through a couple of common ways you might use your inquiries email address. Firstly, you might want to share it with customers or companies who send you regular job opportunities. For instance, you might work with a property manager who forward on work requests from tenants. Information from these emails can now populate in your Tradeify app. The second involves setting up a forwarding address from an existing email. For example, you may already have an email address set up that clients send inquiries to. For example, sales at your company name.com. You'd like to continue to use this address, so you'll need to set up email forwarding to your Tradeify inquiry email address so the details are captured in Tradeify. Email forwarding is straightforward to set up. However, it's not something Tradeify control and does vary based on your email provider, such as Gmail or Outlook. We have provided some useful links on how to set this up in the video's description. Be sure to check it out. Finally, you can enable notifications for new inquiries for both yourself or your team members so that you stay on top of things. To do this, head to the staff members area of the settings section and toggle on the inquiries options. Once you're ready to go live, remember to test the email address, especially if you're using a forwarding email. Draft an email or forward an existing email to your new inquiries email address. Send a test inquiry email to ensure that you receive the notification. Here we can see that our test was successful and our inquiry has come through to our inbox and we're ready to action it. Respond, mark them as completed, or copy the inquiry to a job or quote to take it to the next stage. That's all there is to it. Win more work with Tradeify Inquiries, the smart way to capture and respond to work requests. If you have any questions, visit our Help Center, give us a shout, or check out our other videos. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you soon.